Hi, I'm John Hinchy, a consultant with Logan Consulting. And in today's video, I'm going to walk you through basic opportunity management in Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Sales. Microsoft Dynamics for Sales has three main components. The accounts, which are the companies you work with, the contacts, which are the people who work with the accounts, and the opportunities. Opportunities are the lifeblood of sales. Opportunities are any revenue generating event. You can see these in sales and opportunities. In this video, I'm going to walk through creating an opportunity and closing it. For an opportunity, you always start with your account. I'm going to open an account. And from my account, I'm going to click the plus sign on opportunities. Always start an opportunity from an account so you make sure you have it linked. Say, new big opportunity. I'm going to add a contact. I'll add a budget amount, an estimated revenue. Close date to the end of the month and need. Need a new product for customer. Save the opportunity. And our opportunity is now created. Now I'm going to open this opportunity and start working through it. Your opportunity process bar is your guided bar to go from start to finish on an opportunity. This is the out of the box process bar, but each organization can customize this to show their own stages. Now here are your steps to move to each stage. Each stage has different steps as you can see. The purpose is to fill out each step before moving to the next stage. Right now there are no required fields but if any of these were required, you would not be able to move to the next stage without filling out that step. So here, I'm going to update our purchase time frame, our purchase process, identify the decision maker. This is just a mark complete, so I'll mark it as complete to remind us that we've already identified the decision maker. And capture summary. Here's a chance to write in what the opportunity is about. Customer called and said, need new products this quarter. Now that we have some basic information, we're ready to move from the qualify to the develop stage. From here, we have some new criteria to fill out. Propose solution, send customer the products. You can identify the stakeholders Mark complete. We have a box here for stakeholders where you can add different people who are involved in the project. A stakeholder could be anyone from vendors to customers to team members. I'm going to identify stakeholders, mark complete. You can identify the co competitors, and we have a box for competitors here. Where you can add your competitors to this so you can track who you're competing against. Once these are filled out, we'll move to the next stage. Now we're in propose. You can see by the flag which stage you're in. Whether you click back and forth to see what was written down, you're always in the stage where the flag is. Now that we're in the proposed stage, and a lot of our information is filled out, we're going to see if we've identified the sales team, developed the proposal, mark complete, completed internal review, and then present their proposal. Again, these are all customizable. This is the out of the box steps that Microsoft has deemed valid, but you probably will update this to match your own sales process. Now that we've done these, let's move to the last stage, which is close. Now that we're in the close stage, we have a few final steps. Complete final proposal, present proposal, we'll confirm the decision date, so here we'll enter a date, but it is the 8th. Send a thank you, and file debrief. Again, these are just reminders to complete these things. They're not required, but good to have. Once we click Finish, we've walked through all the stages. We have our time, two minutes. 
Now we've closed, we've finished the process, but we need to close the opportunity. We have the chance at any time during the process to close as won or lost. We're going to close this as won. We have our estimated revenue matching our actual revenue, but let's say here we got more revenue than we thought we would. Let's do 900,000, not 9 million. We'll do the close date as today. Description, close deal, notify team. We'll click OK. Now you can see that our opportunity has moved to a read-only one status and it is closed. From here, if you have your dashboard set up, you can see that your estimated revenue will be logged as actual revenue when you update that field and will be seen on your dashboard for opportunities. For all of your Microsoft Dynamics consulting needs, visit our website at loganconsulting.com. Email us at info at loganconsulting.com or call us at 312-345-8800.